Hey everyone, my name is Sina. I'm the Senior Manager of Customer Programs here at Service Titan. And today I'm really excited to bring you a brand new series called Tad Tune Up. So what this series will do is every video, you're gonna see a different Titan Advisor feature. That way you can get to understand what that feature is about and make sure you know what to do to get success and get those points in Titan Advisor. So my feature that I'm going to be covering today is going to be customized invoices by business unit. And you're probably wondering why we chose this feature to get us kicked off. Number one, it's a really small lift for you and you're going to get some good points. There's four points that go along with this feature. And then two, this is going to keep your invoices looking extremely professional. And let me actually share my screen for a second. I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like if you don't have some of those features enabled or some of those paragraphs filled in your images that you're going to need. And this is what it looks like when you do have some of that information filled into your business units. It'll have a beautiful logo. It'll have some great legal language so that uh, it'll be right there on the invoice for your customer. So without further ado, why don't we just jump straight in to Titan Advisor? So we're gonna be going to the very top right, our rocket ship icon as always. And I've actually put this feature into my plan, but just in case you haven't, it will be inside of the accounting section. And then you can see right there under that launch stage, customize invoices by business unit. So very quickly, I'll just read this main part of the about me for this Titan Advisor feature. What this will allow you to do is customize your invoice settings for each of your business units and include things like custom logos, headers, and legal verbiage. If we scroll down, we'll get to the actual success criteria. And you can see right here, at least 80% of active business units have a logo, invoice header, customer authorization, and customer acknowledgement paragraph. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I know if my business units are missing something? And we've actually built a report for this. So if I just go right above that success criteria, you're going to see this hyperlink, and this will take us directly into reports. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then the report we are looking for is called Business Unit Best Practices Exceptions. I'm going to go ahead and click into this report, and we will run this report. Now, this report can be a little confusing when you're coming in here for the first time. So let me just quickly explain what this report is telling you. Anytime you see the word yes, that means it is missing that specific thing. So my Tad Tuna business unit is missing a logo. It's missing an invoice header. It's honestly just missing everything. If you see something with a zero, that means it is not missing that specific thing. So this electric service is not missing a authorization or an acknowledgement paragraph. So now that I've run the report, I know which business units I'm going to need to update. Why don't we just go in settings and let's go ahead and update this. So clicking into my settings in the top right, and I'm just going to start to type in business. And then right there, you're going to see business units. Now I'm just going to scroll all the way down and you can see I've got this beautiful Tad Tuna business unit that I will be uh, playing with today and making sure we get all those fields filled out. We're going to click the edit button. So the first thing I actually want to do is upload an image. I don't have an image on this. Let's just go ahead and upload one. And I'm going to go ahead and just pick a beautiful rocket because we're talking about Titan Advisor and there it is. I know that this is missing an invoice header. So let me just type in something very simple. Thank you for choosing us. You can obviously have this be whatever you would like, and this will just be at the very top of your invoices, very similar to a letterhead. You can see it's, it can often contain the business name, location, and or phone number. I'm going to scroll down, and then we get to our paragraphs. And once again, I'm going to make this very simple. You can obviously customize this to however you would like, but for this authorization, I will say the... 
customer name. Those are those personalized tokens down at the bottom. And if you don't know what a, a personalized token is, it'll make sense in just a second. Customer name agrees to pay the, let's say the total. Beautiful or the address at, and then we'll add in our service location address. Uh, you also agree to our, and then we'll add in our terms and conditions. Beautiful. Okay. So what are those personalized tokens? If you actually look at the preview down below, it gives you a nice little uh, preview of what that actually says. So you can see I have customer name. It will customize itself based off of the job and based off of what information is on that job. So this little preview just says John Smith agrees to pay that total amount for the address and it gives me that dummy address. And then finally, they agree to our terms and conditions. I'm going to copy and paste this. You'll, of course, want to customize this for your specific acknowledgement paragraph. This is really saying the customer acknowledges that the work was done and uh, they're going to sign for that as well. So the only thing I'm going to change here is there is no terms and conditions personalized tokens for this one. Let's just say the, and I'll add the technician name, performed the work to your satisfaction. Fantastic. And then once again, I get that nice little preview uh, down at the bottom there. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. There is another one for estimates, but that's actually not required for this specific Titan Advisor feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. So at this point, I've updated everything I need to update. If I go back to that report, type in business unit best practice exceptions, and we run this you'll see that that is no longer inside of the report, meaning I have done all of those required things for that specific business unit. Now I'm gonna quickly go back to Titan Advisor because you need to do this for at least 80% of your business units. Once you do it, uh, once you get above that threshold of 80%, then you will get those four points for this specific Titan Advisor feature. So that was our TAD tune-up video. I hope you all enjoy this series. Expect another video with another Titan Advisor feature. My name was Sina. Have a great rest of your day, y'all.